kick ass confidence for the woman who wants more passion, power, and personal style. Hello, beautifuls, and welcome back to Kick Ass Confidence. I am Linda, I'm your host and your confidence coach, and today we are talking about blazers and bling, blazing a trail with one of the most important items in your wardrobe, which is the beautiful blazer. Here we're talking about self-esteem, self-confidence, and the power of personal style, and how style is just a skill. Nobody is born a fashionista. I'm going to give you a very short, sharp, focused, simple episode today on how you can go from zero to hero with your closet, with your wardrobe, working from home, working at the office, or even shooting off to the grocery store, running errands, and rather than being in your same tacky tracky in that old favorite college t-shirt, how the blazer and a little bit of bling can take you from zero to hero in the style stake. So when it comes to blazers, Zara is my go-to. Zara is just one of those easy, decent quality, really good price line uh, brands that comes with very, very, very wide ranges of blazers. I am not one to have the same kind of blazer in six colors. That is just a little bit boring for me. I need a little bit more, I'm a bit demanding in the blazer category. And so when it comes to building a beautiful wardrobe on a budget, it is like anything else. There is a recipe, there are ingredients, and there is a methodology. Now, I happen to have the recipe. If you're interested, feel free to go on over to lindapage.com, sign up to our mailing list, join us for a free membership at school.com. That's S-K-O-O-L.com. It is the cool style school where we are breaking fashion rules, and I don't copy and paste my taste onto you. I rather help women out there to train their eye and train their mind for looking for the right things in the right color, staple colors that have stood the test of time, in other words, capsule wardrobe pieces, at the right price for recommended brands and how to mix and match them to build a beautiful wardrobe that is customized to their body shape, their profession, and their lifestyle. But where true self-confidence and personal style comes from, my friend, is falling in love with the woman in the mirror. That is the silver thread that runs through all of what we do here at Linda Page. But back to the blazer, something that you can do today or tomorrow or this weekend if you want to take a little bit of your wardrobe budget, which by the way you should have, you uh, might not even agree with the stats out there with Forbes and Statista and all those companies out there that know all about you because they do extensive research on you, which is why the fashion industry is one of the biggest industries in the world. They know all about you. They know where you spend your money. They know where you don't spend your money. They know what you look for. They know about your size. They know everything. So you should have a budget and it should be in a percentage, especially if you have fluctuating income. A percentage is better than a number. And if you don't have a budget, then how can you track what you buy? How do you know what you're spending on your wardrobe? It is far more than you think. But that money, honey conversation will leave for another time. So the blazer is a very, very simple item that can help you to dress up any outfit. For example, I have on today a cute little gold blingy cami. The cami is another ingredient in the capsule wardrobe. So just like baking or cooking or whatever it is that you do really well, maybe it's in the kitchen, maybe you're an engineer, maybe you're a nurse, maybe you are, uh, whatever your field of expertise is, you know how to do it well. Even if you're a homeschooling mom of seven, you know how to do it well because you have a plan, you've got a recipe, you've got a kind of a methodology and you've been doing it a long time, you've ironed out the mistakes, you've identified the successful steps and so you just press play and repeat, right? And you become a real master of your craft. And one of the reflections, by the way, of mastery is fun. So having fun with fashion is something that I do, that I love doing because it is it is designed as a gift. It is from the father of lights above. Color, fabric, texture. I mean, listen, look at this, okay? You might be listening to this right now, but this is why you want to jump on video every now and again. Because very simple bling like this and a beautiful colored peachy apricot kind of, it's kind of like, a, it's going to look different on camera, but it's like a, um, it's like a deep salmon. It's not salmon and it's not peach and it's not apricot. It's like a little bit of all three or all five um, and it's a beautiful blend. I got this actually on my recent trip to Dallas, Texas um, in uh, Macy's. I got it at Macy's. And what is the brand? It actually, is, it's something about 13th, um, 13th Avenue or something. I haven't heard of the brand before. Um, and I just fell in love with the color. They had to undress the model for me because 
uh, not that I'm teeny tiny, but they had they had a wide range. I was very surprised. They had they had from size two uh, right up to the other end. So they had the widest range of sizes that I've ever seen. I better just actually see what this is. It's well, it doesn't have it there. Um, no, it does. It does. I am going to pull this off on 34th, not 13th. On 34th is the brand, okay? So on 34th at Macy's, and this is a blazer and shorts outfit. It's high-waisted shorts. I'm going to take it to my tailor. It's just a little bit loose on the side, um, and that's why you must have a tailor, by the way. You have to have a tailor. If you're, if you're serious about your self-confidence and your personal style, and tailors are not expensive. They are out there, and they have amazing skills, and sometimes it's just a tweak on the pants or, some, or taking something in or letting it out or uh, making sure that the hemline is right or putting some darts in the side to make it more structured and tailored, you need a tailor, okay? And if you can sew, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So harness that skill, you'll save yourself a lot of money and you will be able to bring real structure and design and tailoring to your body shape and to your personal style. So the blazer, I probably have about, probably by now, I've probably got about 12 or 13 blazers. Um, I have them in different lengths. I have uh, a lot of them are shoulder padded and women will say to me, are shoulder pads in fashion? And my answer is according to whom? You can take a hundred stylists and fashion designers and ask them the same question. You're going to get different answers. You're going to get a yes, maybe, and it depends or a yes or no, absolutely not. Or it depends. Fashion is subjective. Style is subjective. Beauty is subjective, which is why you must stop buying the stuff, buy the skills, and you need to train your eye. You will save yourself tens of thousands of dollars. This is what I do. Go to lindapage.com if you want to know more. Sign up to our free mailing list, get into school.com, which is free, and we have conversations and assignments and challenges and competitions every single week on how to build a beautiful wardrobe on a budget customized to you and also how to fall in love with the woman in the mirror. But back to the blazer. So Shoulder pads, absolutely, and especially if you are a certain body shape, and I talk about that in a separate podcast, you can look for the titles and see it there, I mean a separate episode, then uh, you, you need padding if you have narrow or very sloped shoulders. But besides that, I love shoulder pads because I think all but one of my blazers have shoulder pads. It brings structure, it brings just a little bit of tailoring, and it just brings a little bit of attention to your shoulders. You will see your posture is different when you have shoulder pads. But again, if you have a, um, what I call the warrior, which is the former inverted triangle, I renamed it to the warrior. If you've got very broad shoulders, you may want to stay away from shoulder pads, depending again, it's, there's no one rule and one size fits all. It depends on how broad your shoulders are, depends on your size, it depends on your height, depends on your color, depends on your hair, depends on all of those things. That's why style is just a skill and style is personal. It is not a cookie cutter, one size fits all. That's why when you, you're in your magazines and you order something online and you put it on, you go, well, this doesn't look at all like on me as it did on her. Yeah, because you're not the model in the magazine or on the website that you saw it on. So the blazer is something that you can add to lots of different outfits. Uh, I have them in long length, I have, which I will wear oftentimes with skinny jeans and heels and a little cami. Um, I will have them in regular length which I will often wear suited and booted if I've got a more formal uh, meeting or, uh, or event taking place. Um, I have them uh, in different kinds of fabrics, different kinds of colors. I recently bought, recently as in early 2024, um, I bought a beautiful lace black long length slim blazer from Zara, which I've worn three times now in very different ways. And it is a real conversation starter. Fashion is a powerful connector. When you wear something that is eye-catching, it's conversation starting and relationship building. So if you work from home, this is an ideal piece to have in your closet because this with the cami or this with the t-shirt, either white or black or navy, the, all, all three of those items are capsule wardrobe essentials. They are staple pieces that belong in every single woman's closet. They are super easy to switch out and switch up, dress up and dress down. For example, I've got my cute little blingy gold. I've had this gold cami for about... I don't know, I bought it in the UK probably a long time ago. Um, and so the blazer with the cami or the blazer with a good quality tee and a little bit of bling, put your bootleg jeans on, put your shorts on, put your skinny jeans on, put your cargo pants on, put, put your wide leg, high-waisted uh, pants on. 
it instantly elevates your style. It instantly brings structure and form and, um, and grace and elegance and a classy look to you. And you can wear them with your white tennis shoes. You can wear them with heels. You can wear them with, head, with, with wedges. You can wear them with your flat, beautiful red ballet shoes. Blazers are an essential staple in your closet if you're serious about establishing personal style. So one of my recommended brands of the 36 that I share on a regular basis is Zara. Zara, I mean, there are lots, right? There's lots online as well. ASOS and Boohoo.com remain the top two most used fashion retail websites for women across America and the UK. That's ASOS, A-S-O-S, and Boohoo.com, as in Boohoo, exactly. Uh, they have been around and uh, very, very popular, um, well-reviewed websites for online fashion retail for women for many, many, many years now. Don't be scared of online shopping. Uh, I often hear women say, but I like to try it on before I buy. Well, so do I. I either try in store or I try at home. The only difference is you're going to go out there, and I do a separate episode on online shopping, so look for that. You go out there, you bring a few home, you try it on, one of the three or four is going to fit, you send the rest back. You should not be paying for returns. The fashion industry today is far more powerful, dynamic, and accommodating than ever before in the history of mankind. So you should not be returning goods at any cost to you. Be sure that you are checking out uh, who you're buying from and um, do the, follow the three steps that I share with you in my online shopping episode. It's a, it's a few before this one. So go and check it out. There are three very basic steps that if you have these in place, you'll become a very smart online shopper. So let's say you're, going, let's say you're working from home and you've got a couple of online meetings or you've got some Zoom meetings or you're doing some recordings and then you've got to go and do the school run and then swing by the grocery store. When you are uh, in your office and you combine a really beautiful blazer uh, with a nice pair of earrings and a beautiful cami or a white tee, it just brings focus and structure and elegance to your style. And so, of course, you've got your hair and makeup done. I don't have heavy makeup on today. Um, I am a little bit jet lagged. I came back from abroad recently. And so I can feel having woken up at four o'clock this morning, it's almost 1 p.m. my time and I'm kind of flagging a little bit. Um, but this is where personal style and fashion and color comes in. When I need energy, I color up. Color brings energy and it brings focus. So how much am I spending on these things, for example? So this beautiful pair of earrings I saw at the um, Galleria Mall in downtown Dallas. I am trying, uh, I think, and I'm not sure. It is either, um, no, I can tell you exactly where this was. This is from the buckle. The buckle at the Galleria Mall downtown Dallas because I got another pair of earrings at a little cute little shop called Francesca's, also in the same mall. The buckle is one of my favorite brands. It's on my recommended brand list for the best bootleg jeans and the best cute little uh, denim shorts and beautiful, uh, what I call the BBB, the beautiful billowy blouse and belts, of course. They've got beautiful belts, um, but they've got great little tops, funky, edgy, kind of rock chic kind of stuff, but the best bootleg jeans I've ever bought over the past 13, 14 years. So I spent $14.99, so $15 on this pair of earrings. And already they are super versatile with all kinds of different colors. I have got a beautiful white anglaise top I'm going to wear with this because the camels and the nudes and the blushes and the whites and ivories is a very beautiful, classy, elegant, stylish, modern combination of color. Um, we at school.com, S-K-O-O-L.com or lindapage.com I'm posting pictures all the time on what you wear with what, how to mix and match it for different kinds of weather, for different kinds of events. What kind of staple pieces can I mix and match it, dress up and dress down? What about special occasions? What about weddings? What is business casual? What about that first date? We have so much fun with fashion. You've got to come and join the conversation, okay? And I'm glad that you're here today. Thank you for joining me on this short conversation. $15 for these um, earrings. And this is actually a blazer and shorts suit. The blazer was $99 and the shorts were, uh, I want to say, I want to say $39 or $37. Um, so call it $40. So for $140, I've got a beautiful deep salmon peachy uh, blazer that I'm going to wear together with the shorts. 
I'm going to wear it separately with blazer and bootleg jeans, blazer and skinny jeans, blazer and my silk cargo pants, blazer and my olive cargo pants. Sometimes it's going to be my flats. Sometimes it's going to be my nude gold wedges. Sometimes it's going to be a pair of beautiful nude strappy heels, depending on the occasion, depending on where I'm going. Then the shorts on their own, beautiful same color, wearing with like a beautiful crisp white uh, billowy blouse. Um, I can wear it with flats, I can wear it with those beautiful same nude wedges. There is so much mixing and matching you can do with a blazer pants or a blazer skirt or a blazer shorts um, outfit. The, 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 the pants suit is not on my capsule wardrobe list right now, but it is definitely going to be um, in my updated list. There's one change I'm going to make to that whole ensemble. I'm taking one thing away and I'm going to add the pants suit because pants suits are... Women think that it's for them only if you're in business or if you're in corporate America. It's not the case. You will always have a luncheon to go to. You'll always have a funeral to go to. You will always have some kind of maybe business casual or smart casual or um, just a t-shirt, jeans and throw on a blazer. Go to the grocery store because I feel like just making it a bit more of an effort kind of event or occasion on some days. The blazer is amazing. Number two, the cami. Uh, which is um, you can have fitted camis or you can have floaty. If you've got a little bit of a tummy like I do, I've got a beautiful billowy little belly, then I have a floaty cami with this and um, I do a little French tuck. Join us again at school.com. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of photos about how to tuck it in, how to wear it, how to mix and match it. But when you take a blazer and an interesting pair of earrings, for example, put on a white t-shirt, some jeans and white tennis shoes, instantly you are no longer dressing down and blending into the background. Instantly, you are noticeable. And don't, don't, it doesn't make you the, the center of attention because a lot of women are afraid of that. A lot of women want that for the wrong reasons. You become the center of influence. Confident women are radically generous and they compliment other women. So when you wear something that is eye-catching, it's conversation starting and relationship building. And when you compliment another woman, which you should be doing every single day, by the way, at least once a day, it needs to be a mission amongst us women. We are restoring the bond and the trust between women here at Linda Page. And I warmly welcome you to join that revolution, that rising re return of our spirit of beauty because women are stronger together. When you have something like an interesting pair of earrings, the blazer, jeans, and um, I've got my skinny jeans on today. And I've, oh, okay. And then there I've got these boots on uh, because it is super muddy outside and it is cold here. And so all I'm going to do is throw on um, a scarf, which I had over here not too long ago. And it's similar colors. It's got like a light nude blush color with ivory and browns. It all kind of goes. So I've got my boots on, my skinnies. I've got my blingy little tiny top. I've got some earrings, my blazer, chunky star scarf. And I'm going to, I've got one meeting and then I'm going to go to the grocery store. And that's it for the day. And then I come back, change. I take this off, hang it up. I put my nice, warm, soft cashmere jumper on. I've got my skinny jeans. And um, it's Friday, we're going to probably light the fire and have a braai, which is South African for barbecue, and five o'clock, pour a glass of wine, and look forward to the rugby tomorrow. That's my plan for the rest of the day. So if you don't have a few blazers in your closet, I want you to go online today, or I want you to make some time, if you are near a mall, or if you have a favorite shopping place, and I want you to go and try on different blazers. You need, obviously, to understand your body shape but I want to keep it simple for now. I just want you to go and try on a bunch of different blazers. Go and find five in a store and go and try them all on and see which one. Trust yourself, okay? Self-confidence is about trusting yourself. You may think, oh my gosh, I don't know what color works for me. You actually do. It's actually inherent in you. You've got a natural love for beautiful things because you are a visual human being. Some of us are more visual than others, but you are visual by nature. It's one of the seven ways in which you learn, grow, and connect with the world around you. So you will have a preference for certain colors, and that preference, like mine for peach and salmon and apricot, usually looks good on you. Are you always gonna get it right? No, which is why we have at lindapage.com a blueprint, a recipe for inspiration from creation, one, two, three, color me, the capsule wardrobe, some basics, but I want to encourage you today. Style is just a skill. Nobody is born a fashionista. If you think, oh, I just, I wish I could do what she does. She just seems to get it right. She did not get it right from day one. She went from, she's just a, a few months or years ahead of you in the learning game. That's all. There was a time when she thought, oh my gosh, what 
color do I wear with that? What, how do I mix it? How do I accessorize that? She learned. I learned. The only difference between my, my fashion and my personal style is I just learned before you. I had to. I have a beautiful story of at nine or ten years old, it was a teacher who inspired my passion for fashion. I came from a very dark childhood, abusive background, and she wore color and red lipstick and fun skirts and beautiful clothing, simple, affordable clothing in our teeny tiny town in the KwaZulu-Natal Midlands of South Africa. But she brought me color, and she became my hope in heels. She even wore high heels to our teeny tiny little town. And by the time I got to 17, when I had to go to work, no job, no home, no education, no skills, no, no car, no clue, I did know one thing. From the love that I started having for fashion and for color from a young age, I started looking around at how do successful women dress? What do they wear? Where are they shopping? Okay, some of them shop from places that I still don't shop at. I'm not a designer shopper. I'm not a high-end brand shopper. I have nothing against the Yves Saint Laurent's and the Gucci's and the Prada's of the world. It's just not my style. And I do not believe we have to spend that much money to look good. If you've got all that money and you're independently wealthy, whatever blows your hair back, go and, and drop a few grand on a little teeny tiny top. <laughs> it's your money. You don't have to break the bank to look good. I've got clients who've got from $25 a month to $20,000 a month. It is not about the money, honey. It is about understanding your body shape, understanding the basics of capsule wardrobe, understanding the staple pieces, and building a foundation that is customized to you, your profession, and your personality. And from there, you branch out with your own personal taste. You might have a navy blue blazer, which is a staple, and then from there you get a peach one. You might get a pink and green and blue floral blazer one day that you wear with a cute little pair of denim shorts and some little sandals. Style is personal and style is just a skill. When it comes to the blazer and bling, it is one of the easiest ways to take a t-shirt and jeans or to take a little cami and a pair of shorts and to put on a blazer, a cute little pair of earrings, grab a tote bag or a crossbody bag or because that is in the capsule wardrobe as well. How many bags do you need? What kind of bags do you need? Uh, you only need four, by the way. If you have 54, whatever blows your hair back, man, that's okay. Remember, style is just a skill. And if you're at zero and you want to improve your personal style, establish something that is personal to you, you want to be faithful with your money and your time and your body and the talents that are given to you, there is a recipe. You don't have to be in the dark and you don't have to spend a lot of money and you don't have to hate shopping. If you hate shopping, it's simply because you don't know how. It is that simple. There is a recipe, there are ingredients, and once you learn how, you will become your own style guru. That is part of my mission here at Linda Page, is to remove women's dependency from the fashion fads and the fashion mags and the, the fashion faux pas and from people like me out there. You need to become your own style guru. Stop, sp stop spending on stuff and spend on the skills. If you're interested, my flagship coaching program is called Dress to Connect, learning how to dress on the outside to reflect the woman on the inside. Don't be one of those schmucks who says, it doesn't matter what I wear, it's all on the inside, take it or leave it, honey, then they are leaving it. Nobody can see on the inside all your beauty, your creativity, your expertise, your skills, your compassion, your empathy, your, your power. No one can see that. You have to dress that on the outside. Then people who've got eyes go, oh my gosh, look at her. She looks like she knows what she's doing. She looks like she'd be a good ambassador for our brand. She looks like we might need to invite her to this event. What you wear attracts or repels powerful people and powerful opportunities. I've been doing it since the age of 17, a long time. And I'll be doing it till the day that I die. And however many days God gives me on this beautiful green earth, I will be having fun with fashion, harnessing the power of personal style because it's all that I had at the age of 17. And man, what I wore got me in the door. So if you're looking to put your hand up for that executive position, if you're looking to write a book or start that business or go into partnership, if you're looking to meet someone, start dating and be married one day or just be to do life with someone, if you're looking to be promoted, negotiate a salary increase uh, or, 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 or create or say yes to an amazing adventure, you need to look in the mirror and you need to connect with the woman in the mirror and say, what outfit, what dress code, because there is always a dress code. What dress code is going to open this door for me? What is it that will catch the eye of the right people 
and and bring this positive opportunity my, my way what is it that if I wear this is going to create connection with these people or this person and do a little bit of research jump online once again if you're not sure go to lindapage.com or join us at school.com forward slash lindapage style is just a skill and you want to blaze a trail with the blazer okay make sure that you are cleaning out your bling box as well if you've got crappy tangled tarnished jewelry from freaking 59 years ago or 30 years ago or five years ago get rid of it clean it out just just get rid of it because it's lying there for what reason it's just taking up space and your clothes including your jewelry have a job to do if it's your hard-earned money you bought it if they're not serving their purpose anymore say thank you goodbye and make space because a cluttered closet is a cluttered mind you want to make sure that you declutter and so when you come into school.com by the way you get a free gift that is worth $297 with love from me that shows you how to do that all important closet call not a purge how to in the six categories get take control back of your closet no longer let it be this oh my gosh I have a closet full of clothes yet nothing to wear you're the boss of your wardrobe you're the boss of your personal style you earn the money that goes to buying that stuff and so you should be in charge and there is a way to do it there is even a dress code for the closet call yes that's right it is a powerful one day game it is not something that you do every weekend or once a month that is not how it works you've been doing that and how does your closet look right now mm hmm so let's end it there blaze a trail go online this weekend or go tonight or go into one of your favorite stores or a couple of shops and go and try on different blazers long ones short ones cropped ones bright ones uh, a blush nude kind of like subtle beautiful soft colors white black navy striped floral just give it a go and and the best thing you can do with that is take together with that um, experience if you're going in store wear some bootleg jeans or some skinny jeans and just a nice normal little white tee or an off-white or or even a navy t-shirt and you will see the instant upgrade that your outfit gets when you put on a blazer so if you can wear either bootleg jeans or skinny jeans with your white tennis shoes um, or flat, flat white that they're not they're not sneakers they're not trainers they're not they are tennis shoes there's a difference again lindapage.com if you want to see what the difference is and a t-shirt or a cami and then go and try on a bunch of blazers and you will feel an instant rising up of your shoulders kind of like a sitting back because it just brings an outline to your beautiful form you have beautiful form no matter your age your size your height your color you have beautiful form we all have different form and all of it is beautiful it's about understanding your shape it's not about your size and the blazer my friend is your friend so on that note we're going to leave it there clear out your bling box make sure you're getting rid of the old stuff if there's stuff there that cost you a lot of money but you never wear it there's a reason for it either try it on and get some uh, some feedback from a couple of friends who has who have good style whose opinion you trust um, if you don't have those friends at school.com it's free membership and you can take a picture and say hey guys and there's be hundreds of women who respond to you I've had these earrings for five years I've worn them once I mean what do you think and remember when you put it out there for different opinions you're going to get a bunch of different opinions back but it usually comes down to a, a real yes or a real no there'll be a few like oh I don't know it depends on what you wear with it but women are quick to respond to oh my gosh I love them what about those with a white top what about those with a floral uh, off shoulder blouse that's what we do here at Linda Page we are women who are for women we are women who celebrate the beauty and the successes of other women we are women who are restoring the bond and the trust between women and we are using fashion as the connector to do that blaze a trail my friend clear out your bling box and remember that you are called to get up dress up and be a bold light on a hill you are called to arise and shine get off the fence the fence is the devil's playground that is where you'll find doubt and indecision and fear of fear of rejection and criticism and judgment you're going to be criticized and judged whether you do something or do nothing so you may as well get up dress up and be a bold light on a hill self-confidence can be built your self-esteem if it's low can be restored I did mine you can do yours and style is just a skill kick ass confidence for the woman who wants more passion power and personal style